Uh, hello everyone. So I know I'm behind a green screen. Uh, just, just don't ask me why I did that. Anyways, the feud or the feud between Carlos Yolo and his girlfriend against Carlos Yolo's mother has become so problematic. It just made international news, and here is an example. So here I will be showing you is an article from the British Broadcasting Corporation. Okay, it's not a corporation, a broadcasting uh, television station from the from the Philippines, which is the country that this is from. So uh, I'll just be showing you. Uh, the entire article um, here it begins with Filipino gymnast Carlos Yolo's feud with his mother has been making headlines in his home country threatening to to eclipse the euphoria or the euphoria over his historic twin gold medal wins in the Paris Olympics uh, at the center of the disagreement is how Angelica Pochisiulo managed her 24-year-old son's finances and her reported disapproval of his girlfriend, a content creator on TikTok. Intense coverage of the spat, which has played out in interviews, social media posts, and even a hastily arranged press conference, has prompted many to call on the media for restraint. So just those four sentences alone it hooks you up like yeah it's this is actually how it has happened here like just so many international viewers just being surprised by the bb that like just being surprised by the bbc because they are now showing this article or this news that should have remained pretty local uh, if I may say so, because I don't think this story is worth so much coverage that it made international headlines. So here is a continuation. Um, you know, he will receive a 20 million peso bonus from the Philippine government. Yep, corporate sponsors have pledged him. You know, all that. I've already explained it in a video before. Go check that out. But let's continue with, in that interview, Oh no, never mind. I will continue with the sentence before. But soon after his second gold on Sunday, reports began to surface about an interview his mother had given to a local radio station that same day. In that interview, Miss Yolo said that contrary to allegations, she did not mismanage her son's money and had in fact deposited it at a bank in Manila. She said she received money on her son's behalf. Two days later, on August 6th, or the 6th of August, Mr. Yulo released, released a video on TikTok asking his mother where his past prize money had gone because he, quote, never received it. You know, meh. Now, let's continue on with, uh, in Mr. Yulo also said his Filipina girlfriend is not a quote red flag and that his mother had judged the woman because of her appearance and her liberal upbringing in Australia. Uh, here's a quote from Mr. Yolo in a TikTok video. My message to you ma is I hope you heal and move on. I have forgiven you a long time ago. I pray that you are always safe and sound. Now here is where it gets hella crazy um let's see uh all right there we go um he uh, all right okay there we go miss yulo then called for a press conference on the 7th of august to respond to her son's tiktok video and offered her hand in reconciliation she apologized for what she said in the interview saying quote rapid questions from the media prevented her from thinking clearly I call lies. Miss Yulo said she was issuing her, quote, final word on her disagreement with her son and that she was not after his money. Quote, this has reached an alarming level because now the entire country and possibly the United Kingdom is waiting for what each of us will say next. 
when this matter should have been kept private. Continuing, I am not a perfect mother, and God knows that you are not a perfect son. There is no perfect family. What an amazing excuse, I know. Neither mother nor son had spoken since that press conference late on Wednesday. Then it continues from here on out uh, with... On social media, fans have called for an end to speculation over Mr. Yulo's personal life, asking to shift attention back to his historic feat in Paris. Filipino audiences have a penchant for soap operas and gossip, especially when it involves public figures, who they are dating and how they are spending their money. There's even a local sign for the chief gossip in the neighborhood or the chat group Marites. A common name for a Filipino woman. Um, yeah, this is just a small tangent, so you can. Uh, here we go. We continue with. But in the case of Mr. Yulo, media attention has gone too far," said prominent journalist Professor Danilo Arau. Let us not dilute the outstanding achievements in the 2024 Paris Olympics by reporting on trivial matters that do not carry news values and do not shape public opinion. Reporting on family feuds or personal problems of private individuals promotes a, a quote, unacceptable culture of voyeurism and rumor mongering. He said coverage of Yulo's win should instead focus on the challenges facing Filipino athletes because of a lack of state support. Now here is where I should probably correct him because, quote, a lack of state support, look at that, a lack of state support, that is an absolute lie. Keep in mind, I made a video just, I don't know, I don't know how long that was, um, four days ago, I think where I showed just how much Carlos Yulo has won. Keep in mind, it was over a million dollars. And a million dollars in this country is so much. Like, you can spend a lot of money on that. So, this, quote, lack of state support, I don't think that's the right way to state the way that this country supports their Olympic athletes. But again, I might be wrong. Uh, all right, uh, then it also continues on a tangent again, and then uh, there we go. Uh, let's go with, for now, social media users have resumed swapping funny memes about the country's new sports star. The uh, one disinfectant brand likened Yulo's charm to its germ-killing power. 99.9% .9 effective. Never mind the 0.01% that do not like him. For Miss Yulo, she acknowledged that hurtful words have been said, but that they remain a family. Uh, here's a quote of, Our home is open whether or not you have money. The door is open in case you want to come back. And that is the end of the article. Um, I just, you know, taken money... Take, took advertising money out of the BBC for your own convenience and for this quite nice voice, I might say. Um, Alright, that is... Th that is it for now. Yeah. It's now become so much of a problem and it made international use. So, yeah. Uh, Alright. Uh, bye bye